This year's KCPE breakout star Goldalin returns triumphantly to a society that has been instrumental in helping her walk through the maze that is life with albinism. <laughs> Her return here is significant not just for her, but for others, especially the young ones living with the condition. Some of them were present to receive her, and she didn't disappoint them. This is albinism. We're celebrating albinism, Senor. Yes, I'm so happy. It is easy to see that she is at home here, and with good reason. She says the society's resources helps her cope with life in a place where she stood out not just for her academic brilliance, but also for her physical appearance. Growing up in Rosile, the society was people are staring, people are whisper, it was irritating. So I grew up in those. But once I realized there are people like us, when you're Mefika Jew already, there are people like us who are standing out, who are confident. That's when I gained my confidence and stood up for myself. But she, alongside other members of the Albanism Society, maintained that her victory should be celebrated for her achievement and not her condition. But even then, they can't deny the impact her story is having on the advocacy work that the Albanism Society of Kenya does. Let's embrace children even with disability. You never know. This school that had all these young girls, they never knew at the beginning when she was admitted their mom, whether she would come, she would emerge the best girl in the Republic of Kenya. It is not something that we were expecting that from this minority group, we can bring out a child who will be known <coughs> to the whole world. The spotlight that her win brings to the table is also a positive for parents raising children with albinism. Everyone out there who is looking down upon uh, children with albinism or any other disability and looking at them like uh, they cannot do much, I think Gondalin has proved that if given an opportunity like any other child, if given that love, they can perform, they can bring out their best potential. We have the future with us here. <laughs> this girl can be anything in this world, yes. including the president of this republic. The teenager will have her entire secondary school fees taken care of by the Albanese Society of Kenya, who also gifted her and her family cash as a token of appreciation. The Albanese Society of Kenya will continue to celebrate Golda Lynn's victory in this year's KCP examinations and use her story as an example of what children who live with conditions similar to her can achieve if given the necessary support. Brenda Wanga, NTV, Nairobi.